All right, here we're asked, if you invest $720 for one year and end up with $756, at what percentage rate did you invest the money? Okay, so again, we'll write down our formula here of I equals PRT. So first of all, what are they asking us to find? Well, they said, what percentage rate, right? So we know that we need to find R. Okay, so do you know P? Well, sure, you invest $720, right? So 720 times R, and we do that for one year, right? So we put a one in for T. Now, be careful. It's really tempting to just take the last number that we haven't used yet and throw it in for I, but remember, this is the amount of interest is $756 the amount of interest? Well, no, it's not, right? Because this is the principal plus interest, right? It's how much is actually in the account. So here, we don't want to put uh, 756. We want to put the difference of 756 and 720 in that spot. So of course, we place 36 in as the amount of interest. So to clean this up, we have 36 equals 720 R. I can drop that one out of there. So of course I'm dividing both sides. Oops, it's supposed to be an R. Dividing both sides by 720 to isolate R. So 36 divided by 720 where 720 does not go into 36. We have a zero up there. Add a decimal point, add a zero. Uh, 720 does not go into 360, so we add another zero. 720 goes into 3,600 five times, and it turns out it goes in five times exactly. So remember that this R we're finding is the decimal form of the percent. So when we report our answer, we're of course going to say 5% annual interest.